and why U.S. border agents seized $500,000 worth of toy planes. What? 36,000 airplanes almost made it into Minnesota last week, but Customs and Border Protection agents in International Falls stopped the rail car that was carrying them because the toy planes were illegal. What do you mean? A statement from CBP says the makers of the toys were violating trademark laws. They were sending counterfeit toys into the U.S. that would have sold for $575,000 if they hadn't been caught. Jeez. Okay, so what is the danger? You might not think of an unlicensed toy as a threat to the country. I don't. But the port director at International Falls, Tony Jackson, says in a release that the illicit trade hurts in a few ways. It hurts the economy Boom. by undercutting legitimate American goods that have trademarks or copyrights. It brings products into the country that have not passed health and safety standards. And the money that's made off of these goods often pays for criminal activity or organized crime. Ugh. In the International Falls case, uh, CBP spokesman Jason Givens says that the toys seized were coming from China, which is the origin of more than half of the counterfeit goods that arrive at U.S. borders. Givens says the Trade Secret Act prevents the agency from talking specifically about what trademark the toys violated, but he says counterfeit usually make a profit by spoofing the hottest products as soon as they're available on the market. It's like the handbag thing. Who knew that toy plans could be so sinister? Exactly.